Hello and howdy. Uh, a few days ago I saw the Disney nature documentary Chimpanzee. Um, and I thought it was okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. Uh, part of me wants to give it a 6. Uh, but I thought that the photography and just the pain and dedication that was dedicated or, you know, that went into making this film, um, you know, I admire it too much, so I have to give it a 7. Uh, but there was some stuff I did not like. Uh, uh, you know, it's about um, chimpanzees. Um, Disney Nature uh, had a crew stay many years. I think I had heard something as much as uh, six years in the jungle making this film. Uh, in the jungles of Africa. Um, where chimpanzees are, are located. Uh, it's basically follows the story of one little chimp, I think, named Oscar. Uh, you're pretty much seeing him soon after birth. Um, the film pretty much leaves with him in, uh, you know, pre-adolescence. Uh, but about halfway through the film, I don't think I'm spoiling anything, uh, Oscar's mother uh, dies. And... Uh, Normally, uh, in chimp society, the orphan chimp, you know, will basically be left to die. Uh, if it cannot fend for itself, uh, another mother, another female chimp will not, you know, care for it, will, you know, shoo it away. Um, but somehow, some way, uh, the leader of the tribe, the alpha male, um, adopts the baby, adopts the, the baby Oscar. Um, and this is a rare uh, occurrence. It's, they, it's advertised as never being filmed, uh, this uh, adoption process, what have you. Uh, and again, they say that it's rare in the society, you know, as well for... Um, the alpha male, the the head of the pack, to take care of its lowest member. Um, so it's interesting, you know, on, on that aspect, in that aspect. Um, what I loved about the film are the photography. I mean, it features, you know, some of the best nature photography you could hope to see um, done by, you know, dedicated uh, naturalist cameramen who are incredibly passionate about their job. They'd have to be uh, for spending six years in the jungle. Um, and at one point they say they had to like walk two miles uh, through thick, you know, jungle from like where they have to park or wake up, whatever. Uh, and to even get to the edge of where they're supposed to be filming. Um, so again, there's, uh, you know, a lot of passion in this project. Uh, and so it, you know, it features just amazing photography, um, of a lot, a different, you know, anim, you know, animals, uh, there's shots of ants, you know, moving across the ground that are just breathtaking, uh, there's something that I am totally unfamiliar with. Um, some kind of living... I want to guess it's a kind of a fungus. Um, it was just like this neon orange that just grew over everything. Uh, and they show like a time-lapse uh, progression of this... You know, again, I have no idea what to call it. Uh, you know, fungus just going and spreading over everything everything over ev everything living things uh, you know rocks whatever it just smothered everything and I had no idea what it was um, it also showed some beautiful plant life uh, that I you know I was kind of unaware of this that glow in the dark um, I mean it was really gorgeous it kind of looked like uh, a scene from Avatar uh, with all of these uh, Phosphorus mushrooms that just um, glow green. I imagined it was something like, you know, the uh, 
the deep sea animals and plant life that uh, glow in the dark. Um, I can't remember what that word is now. Uh, anyway, um, I there was just some beautiful photography and just some like jaw-dropping moments in terms of you know the natural world just seeing things that again I've never seen before um, and I'm a big fan of the natural world uh, and so it was very rewarding uh, in that aspect um, and of course the photography of, of uh, chimps um, you know you're right there with them you know you're right there with them so that's again as a nature documentary uh, and, you know, I'm going to love it um, and love what I love about every, you know, nature documentary. Um, what I didn't so much like about it. Uh, <clears throat> first off, I kept on telling my, this is rated G. Um, it's meant for kids. I kept on telling myself that just because it gave kind of a watered down... Um, you know, they, they cut back on the nature a little bit. As you probably know, nature is incredibly cruel. Um, and we don't really get to see that cruelty. Um, I saw it at, in the evening and there were still a lot of kids in the theater. So, I mean, <laughs> not that I'm wanting them to be traumatized, but I definitely don't think they should think that life as a chimpanzee is, you know beautiful all the time and, and easy going. Uh, they pretty much show the bad stuff, what I'm calling bad, one time. Uh, they only show, uh, chimpanzees are omnivorous. Uh, they eat both plants, vegetables, you know, whatever, nuts, berries, as well as meat. Um, they are expert hunters uh, and hunting, uh, what were they, Colobus monkeys. Uh, that live high in the treetops. And they showed us how, you know, they work together, uh, communicate through teamwork to basically, you know, trap these monkeys and uh, <laughs> twist their heads off. Um, <laughs> so we only get to see them be vicious uh, towards, you know, another creature. They, we only get to see them hunt and eat flesh once. Um, and we don't really get to see it too much. You know, we just know what's happening. And then there's like this big, you know, feeding frenzy when they bring the, the kill back to the group. And, you know, everyone's gathered around. You get to see some, you know, flesh fly a little bit. Uh, just, but just barely. Um, there's also, but there's only one incident. There's also only one incident of inter, you know, tribal, uh, uh, extra tribal, um, uh, where it's like the whole time there, there's the bad chimps, the bad guys who want the nut, you know, the nut trees, the nut grove that um, our, you know, our good guy chimpanzees have control of. The bad chimpanzees want it. The good chimpanzees have it. I'm going to get to that point here in a second, I hope. Um, the fact that there's good and bad chimpanzees. Um... So the bad chimpanzees come in, and the good champ uh, champ chimpanzees defend. And there's brutal fighting. And we only get this one, like, split-second glimpse of just two alpha males just going at it. Uh, just ripping each other apart. And even that split second leaves an impression. I mean, I can still see that image in my head. So, again, I'm not looking to traumatize kids, but, uh, you know, I think they need to know what, you know, the world is like. Um, and then there's only one incident of sex, of mating. Uh, and it's like, after the big battle, uh, you know, the alpha male quickly has... A lot of sex with uh, all of his females with his harem, uh, and so and you don't even it's it's not said you know you just see uh, the big guy run up and uh, take what he wants, uh, and it's never and it's just again a quick split second. So 
And as my, as my understanding, uh, monkeys, uh, the great apes, chimpanzees, they spend a lot of time having sex. Um, and so we don't really get uh, we don't get that sex filled uh, life that they lead. Uh, so again, I wish that it wasn't so watered down. Again, I kept telling myself that this was for kids, um, and then it's rated G. Uh, but it also opened my mind up to the possibility of like, let's give us some PG thirteen uh, nature documentaries. Let's see some more nature documentaries on the big screen. Uh, I think that's you know fair and give us the hardcore stuff you know rated pg-13 you know that's give me something like that i want that um another uh aspect that i didn't care about so much for the film and that's with the good bad good champion chimpanzees and the bad bad chimps um they humanize a lot of the chimpanzee behavior uh this is most done notably through tim allen uh, Tim Allen from television and many Disney films uh, narrates the film and not only narrates but gives like character voices to uh, some of the chimps and I did not care for that much at all um, you know like he tells us what the chimp is thinking and again humanizes these chimps which again they are our closest cousin but still I didn't need to have them you know talking about you know, whatever. I didn't have to have them talking uh, or getting to hear their thoughts. Um, and again, they like demonize these other chimps, and uh, these other chimps are good. I'm like, they're the same animal. They're just, they're all just trying to survive. They're just doing what comes naturally. Um, so, but yet they give it this like evil motivation. Uh, Whatever. I didn't. I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. Uh, it, it honestly sometimes made me cringe. Like, you know, because it was so cheesy, bad. Uh, you know, when Tim Allen is like thinking for the chip, like doo, 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 this looks fun. You know, just like what? You know, why? Uh, so, you know. But again. Gorgeously photographed, and again, you're witnessing something that you're never going to get to see. I mean, and one, apparently this act is incredibly rare, both in terms of its first time being filmed and it's rare in the society of chimpanzees. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but again, just give it to it. Don't, don't talk down to the kids. I felt like, even if I were a kid, I felt like I was being talked to, you know, talked down to a little bit. Um, you know, don't, don't sugarcoat nature. Uh, you know, I, it, it wasn't sugarcoated for me. I can remember watching nature, nature documentaries as a kid on television, like Richard Attenborough's stuff and just being kind of terrified. You know, uh, I still remember the first time I ever saw a killer whale, um, you know, practically beach itself to eat a seal. And, I, you know, I was so very young. Uh, so it's like, I think kids can handle it. Uh, and again, they should know, you know, they should know. Um, so with the exception of the candy coating, I, you know, feel it's a fine film. Um, if you like chimpanzees, if you like nature documentaries, I'll, I'll obviously recommend it. Uh, try and see it on the big screen. Part of the portions go to, um, you know, saving the chimps, saving the rainforest, something like that. Uh, but, you know, and especially if you have kids, your kids are going to love it. So I guess that's the important part. Um, for me, I'm giving it a solid 7. You know, I think it's, you know, I can't help but give it a 7 just because of all the pain and hard work that went into it. And it is a glimpse into um, something that I would never get to see otherwise. So I can't hate on it too badly. Uh, so that's Chimpanzee, and it's a solid 7. Thank you very much.